Monopoly Deal is a fun, shorter card game version of classic Monopoly that can be played with two to five players. The goal of the game is to be the first player to collect three full property sets. To set up the game, first remove the rules reference cards from the deck and distribute one to each player. Shuffle the deck and deal five cards face down to each player. Players can look at the cards in their hand, but must keep them hidden from their opponents. Place the remainder of the cards face down in a pile in the middle of the table to create the draw pile. Then choose one player to go first. On a player's turn, they draw two cards from the draw pile and add them to their hand. Then they may choose to play up to three cards from their hand. There are three ways to play a card. First, you can play money cards or liquidate action cards to fund your personal bank. You do this by setting them face up in a pile in front of you. The money cards tell you how much they're worth, while the action cards have a small dollar value listed in a circle on the corner of the card. If you do put an action card into your bank, you can no longer use it to perform the action described on the card. Second, you can play property cards face up in front of you. Creating three sets of matching property sets means that you win the game. A set is any two to three properties of the same color, depending on the set. The number of cards needed for a particular set is listed on each property card for that set. The cards in a set do not need to have different names. Finally, you may play action cards by setting them face up in the discard pile and following the instructions on the card. If an action card requires other players to pay you rent, they can take the funds out of their bank and you may add them to your bank. Or they can give you properties of their choice, which will automatically go into your property sets. The property values are listed on the corner of each card, and the sum cost of the property values must add up to the rent owed. If a player is incapable of paying rent, they do not pay at all. Once a player has played up to three cards and all action cards have been resolved, their turn ends and play continues clockwise. Players are not allowed to hold more than seven cards in their hand. If a player ends their turn with eight or more cards, they must discard cards of their choice until they're back to seven cards. If a player ends their turn with zero cards in their hand, they start the next turn by drawing five cards instead of two. Play continues until one player makes three matching property sets and wins the game.